Uh, this is a de demonstration of CA's real-time performance manager for OpenVMS. Uh, as you can see, I already have a few windows set up uh, to the VMS system. Uh, you have user 1, which is currently running a uh, CPU intensive loop, and I have user another user 1 and a user 2 that we'll be using later on. To run uh, the uh, real-time monitor, we use advise, performance, display windows, mode equals TCP IP, it could be DECnet, and node, the name that you want to monitor. Hit enter. Have to select the window first, then hit enter. The default for the real-time display is 10 seconds. And we're now waiting for it to start to start up. At some point, we'll see the beginning of time for VMS and uh, bolts initializing. There's the beginning of time. We'll wait another 10 seconds to get the first display. There's the first display, and looking at CPU utilization, uh, it's a little hard to see right there, but it's at 25%. I'm running on a for CPU Itanium system. I'm going to move this window out of the way. We don't need that anymore. Now to find out what's going on, move the cursor up or CPU utilization. I'm going to double click. It brings up this window right here, indicating that user 1 is using 25% uh, of the CPU. And here's a little lot larger display of what we see over here, indicating again 25%. If we want to see more about user one, we double click on that, brings up this window. User one again showing 25%, and the image that's being run. That's my Loop Forever program on IA64. I can double click on this. And it brings up uh, just a little more information. Real-time image, loop forever, IA64, more CPU, uh, and again, the utilization. Now I'm going to uh, remove those windows and set up for another loop forever program. This is again a CPU intensive uh, looping program. We'll wait a few seconds here for it to uh, kick in. Okay. And over here we can see that the CPU is now at 50%. Uh, we have again a four CPU system, two processes running. Uh, at 100% CPU intensive loop. User 1 is showing pretty much 50% utilization. You can double click right here, drilling down. See so user process. User 1 here. The other process that I had labeled user 1, user underscore 1 dash 1. And if we wanted to look more at user 1, we can get more information about that process, what it's running, process ID, name, and, and the account number. I'm going to uh, delete this window, delete this, and I'm going to bring up the third uh, CPU intensive. This should bring us up to around 75% CPU utilization. There's a line going across here at 75. Anytime you, we reach that threshold, it'll turn to red. And looking down here, we can see that we have user one. Remember, there are two processes running uh, using 50% of the CPU, and now user two, which is uh, using up. 100% of its CPU on the 4 CPU system. Again, double clicking to drill down. So 
to user two. It's running a loop forever. And that brings us to the end of the uh, demonstration.